Hi, Jim Van Zandt here, one of the pastors here at the Carlisle United Methodist Church with Sermon in Three Minutes. Church season of Advent began last Sunday, and we heard from God's Word, Matthew's Gospel, second chapter, first 12 verses. Those are the story about the mysterious astronomical event of this wondrous star that appeared in the sky over Bethlehem. Story of the wise men who followed that star, seeking truth, seeking to find a path to God. And also in that story is the story of Herod, King Herod the Great, who was threatened by anything that might threaten his kingdom and his devious plans as well. What we don't understand completely is why Matthew sets up a story of contrast right away in the beginning story of Jesus Christ. He sets up a contrast of two paths. One is the path of the wise men seeking truth and the other is the path of Herod seeking anything that might take him off the center of his throne. It's the same thing in our lives. Do you remember where you were this season when you first saw Christmas decorations going up in area stores, Walmart, Target? something like that. Maybe you had the same reaction I did. Number one reaction was, gee, they're doing this earlier and earlier each year. Second reaction was, oh, isn't this nice? Because we have pleasant thoughts about Christmas. And then the other reaction was, hang on now because the train going to Christmas has just left the station and the increased responsibilities, stress times and demands on you are just going to increase. We have a choice to make. It's a story in contrast here in Christmas time for you and for me. There's the way of the Christmas tree, innocent in itself and, and not anything negative about the tree, or there's sometimes the way of the crash or the way of the nativity. What is it that gets central prominent position in your homes at Christmas time? Is it the nativity scene, the crash, or is it the Christmas tree? Those are the choices we have to make, just like when we read the Gospel of Matthew in that second chapter, the first 12 verses. Let us make a choice this year to follow the path to the nativity of Jesus. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Sermon in three minutes.